Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Callan, our Let's Play Island. Um, let me briefly catch you up so we're all on the same page for this new year. Um, happy New Year. It is the 3rd of January. Um, I just got a home on the 30th of December and I took the couple of days like, you know, in between the, the years. It's, it's always a bit of a mess because you never really know what day it is. So I took those to kind of like re-energize and sword through all of my stuff and now here we are again i'm excited to start working on Callan or like continue to start working on Callan, i guess so um let me show you what we've been up to so um if you missed the last episode that's pretty much where we started to finally work on the entrance and it turned into something of a bridge core build which i don't really know why um, but yeah, we've got a lot of bridges, four to be precise and to be exact. But yeah, so Callan is supposed to be a romantic coastal retreat. I've done a couple of videos where we like planned the island, we did a mood board, we did an inspo build in the DLC, uh, which was a lot of fun. And this is what our map currently looks like. We do have a bunch of dreamies already. We have um, Pate, T-Bone, Daisy, Flurry, probably maybe Hornsby I'm not sure also Pate is still on the kind of maybe list and Dottie um so the ones that still have to leave are Annabelle Molly Phil and Rooney just because I either don't really like them all too much or they don't really fit the um the vibe of the island which is supposed to be more like a blue um blue white and pink that's like the main colors and green obviously because it's placed um place during spring i don't think that's grammatically correct but it'll be during spring um to be to be specific it'll be during a uh, cherry blossom season which unfortunately in 2023 seems to be exactly with the easter like the bunny day stuff oh we got um we got money on a tree let's let's grab that um so i don't know if like maybe we're gonna play this island in 2024 instead because <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. I, 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 I just, I can't do that. I cannot do that. I cannot find eggs like every turn. Um, so yeah, either we played in 2022 or we played in 2024. I'm not quite sure, but it's too many. It's too many eggs, and I, I don't think I can deal with that. Right. Regardless, though, um, my pockets are looking a little interesting. Here's what we're gonna do. Because we really haven't had a chance to talk much, um, I think I'm gonna clean up a few flowers and meanwhile we'll chat a little bit. Um, there's these flowers which I just have to move on to the beach because I already got like a lot of uh, pink, white, blue flowers. I think that's the ones I'm gonna use. And then there's a lot of lilies back here, which I just, I'm just gonna throw them out, like the ones that don't fit the color at least. Um, and because that's been something I keep pushing off because it's not the most interesting, I think right now is the time because we haven't been able to chat much and I think we need to. So first things first, let me grab a garbage can. There we go. And then maybe we're gonna empty our pockets as much as we can. Uh, we're gonna drop some bells over here. 99,000 and then let me put the 10,000 away and drop this. We also need to drop this, the turnips. Well, the butterfly could go with our collection, but for now we're just gonna put it in our storage. All right, so um, last episode was us starting to work on the entrance. And before that, there were two episodes in which we did some villager hunting, which are quite up to date. I was going to, I recorded those before the holidays. Um, and I was going to actually record some more, but then I got like really sick before the um, before the holidays came around. I didn't test myself, but I'm pretty sure it was um, the the C. Uh, <laughs> like thinking about like all the symptoms now, I'm pretty sure it was that. And um, my voice was just I couldn't record anything. I would have just been. I kind of would have sounded like Phoebe in Friends, you know, when she's sick and she had like that sexy kind of um raspy voice i'm guessing that would have been me but it was just it would have just been terrible to record and like put a strain on it so i unfortunately wasn't able to record anything else before the holidays and then i left to spend the time with my family um from i think the 24th which uh i'm if any of you don't know i'm from germany and in germany we celebrate on the 24th mainly like with our very close um family like on christmas eve and um, so I went there on the 24th and then I returned on the 30th um, 
And like I said, I just, I don't know, the, the days like in between the two years are always just like kind of, my mom was saying today, so today is Tuesday for um, for reference. And she was like, oh yeah, so like it's Wednesday today. And she just kept on like explaining stuff. And, um, and then she was like, oh wait, it's not Wednesday, is it? And I'm like, yeah, no, but no one knows during these times. But yeah, I think now like the 3rd of January, a, a lot of people are returning to work and stuff is kind of settling back into the normal and in, in, whatever that means I don't know um but yeah so I hope you all had um an amazing end of your year whether you celebrated Christmas or not um and spend some time with your loved ones or just kind of rejuvenating for this year um and I'd love to know in case you feel comfortable uh saying that do you have any new year's res resolutions um, because I, I don't know, I find that quite interesting, but I know it can be very personal. So if you don't want to share it, of course, that's totally fine. But I would love to hear some of those. Um, my New Year's Eve, unfortunately, was pretty poopy, but that doesn't, it's not going to change the fact that I'm trying to manifest a good year because I think we all kind of need it. We've all had some rough years and I think it's time we all have um, a good year for a change. Okay, two more. Um, but yeah, so, uh, it's only fair for me to also share some of my new year's resolutions, because like I said, I, I want this to be a good year. Um, and I want it to be a year full of changes, even though last year already was a very, very, no changing year sounds wrong, but like a year with a lot of changes. I moved like halfway across Germany, like a lot of hours away from my, um, my family, my sister. I'm saying those separately because my sister doesn't live with my parents. Like she lives even further apart from me. So like there were a lot of changes and I'm still adapting. And I will say that not all of those changes unfortunately turned out for the better. Like I just feel like um, maybe it was too much at once. I'm not quite sure, but I'm willing to try and turn things around this year and um, make them work out for me. So I think my first... My first, ugh, not the egg balloon, <laughs> my first big change that I want, or like my New Year's resolution, my first one, um, is I want to find a job. Uh, for those of you who don't know, ugh, stop giving me wood eggs, please. <laughs> uh, right now, I don't have another job apart from content creation, and I've pretty much taken a big step back from it because I, I kind of, I'm taking some time away from streaming, um, which I think we're probably going to talk about at some point, but um yeah, for a few reasons, and uh, especially like mental health, I really want to find a stable job with a contract with like work colleagues and a team. Um, and I don't know, just like finding people where in like the city that I live in, because I don't really know a lot of people. I don't really have a lot of friends. Uh, I don't have an axe either. And I know that, oh God, it's too early for nooks to be open. Okay, hold on. We gotta, we gotta craft one. So what do we need for it? Uh, we are going to need tree branches and a stone and then some wood and iron. Wow, it's complicated. I'm not going to remember most of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So first of all, we need to grab a workbench. There we go. I... Do I have the small one somewhere, like the mini DIY workbench? Because that one is a lot more like just one tile wide, which is a lot nicer to to use. Okay, so it was tree branches and stone and wood and iron nuggets, I think. Okay, let's see. Because we I want to get rid of those um coconut trees. I guess we could use them <clears throat> to get the coconuts and to like sell them and get money. But I, at this point, the money thing, like the bell thing, I've, I'm okay with grabbing bells for sure. And I'm also okay with grabbing items. I think we're going to, we're gonna, not going to overdo it. Like I'm not going to go to treasure islands now and just fill my storage, but instead I'm going to like tackle it area by area. And if I see like, if I'm like, oh, I would love to use this here, then I'll write it down and I'll do like specific shopping trips or something. But yeah, back to the uh, New Year's resolution. So yeah, first one is going to be to find a job. And therefore, um, I think that's going to massively change my life. It will be a full time job. So I'm pretty sure it'll probably also change parts of the content creation life. Uh, content creation life. Um, but I'm, I'm excited about it because I think that it'll allow all of, all of this year 
to go back to being um, a hobby. And I feel like that'll take a lot of pressure off of myself. And like, I just thought about this because I just read a comment before this. Speaking of comments, I do read them all. <laughs> I like to mention this every once in a while because I feel very like I feel very bad for not responding to a lot of them but I do read all the comments and um, oftentimes I'm like oh yeah I'll respond to that once I'm like I need a little bit of time for it and then I just put it off the same with messages I'm like terrible at that so it's not you it's me uh, for for real though and um, I do read them all though and I just read a comment before starting this which was um Kind of like, you know, I, I discovered your channel through the 14 day challenge and I just spent like some time catching up with all of your videos. I was like, oh my gosh. And I get some of these comments sometimes. Oh, we have another workbench here. Not the one I want though. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, and people will say like, you know, I discovered your video, uh, your channel through like this video or like this series. And now I like I've spent all this time catching up and I I kind of just love watching the let's play as well and stuff like that. And that's what I'm really excited about. Like, I think once this returns to being a hobby, not that I'm making that many videos right now, but there's still always this like looming pressure, I guess. But once I return to this being a hobby, I'll just. Really, instead of would you give me three wood eggs? What a freaking scam. I don't care about the jam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, is that a regular balloon? And did I mess up? Oh my gosh. No! I don't want the egg balloon. I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me forget about the eggs and finish my train of thought. So when I can return this to being a hobby, I think it'll be a lot easier for me to just enjoy the content that I genuinely uh, enjoy producing in the moment. And for me, oh, that's probably the real balloon. For me right now, that's the let's play just because it allows me to, um, it allows me to just work on my island. It allows me to chat with all of you to hear about people like still being excited about this game or just enjoying this let's play, etc. And um, I just, I feel like at this point, the game has been out for almost three years now. And at this point, it feels kind of almost weird to make uh, tips and tricks videos or stuff like that because I'm, I'm, I'm almost like people probably know everything about this game by now. So um, this is truly the content that I enjoy making. And then maybe like every once in a while, we can have like a challenge or we can do, um, you know, like more of those tips and tricks videos, which usually are more successful and therefore it might bring like people to the channel who then also enjoy this like more, oh, hello, Molly. Um, enjoy this like more laid back kind of content and like want to stay for the long run. That's something I would be really excited about because I feel like it makes the community a much more uh, close knit and genuine one. And um, it's it, I've really been enjoying kind of like reading all the comments and why is there so many white flowers over here? Uh, reading all the comments and like also a lot of returning um, commenters, no commentators. A lot of people who like comment on more than one video, basically. And uh, so, yeah, uh, that long explanation for for this uh, for this goal of mine this year, but um, definitely very, very important. Um, so, yeah, find a job is the first one. Uh, something else I really want to do uh, is go to a, a couple of doctors because um ever since i moved i haven't really taken care of that enough that's a bunny balloon okay um i haven't really taken care of that enough and that's not really responsible it's not really good so there is a couple of doctor's appointments i really want to make um there's one in particular i probably will talk about it at a later point in time um, it's nothing like health concerning. Don't worry. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, but there's one in particular that I really want to take care of because I feel like it'll really change my quality of life. And um, so yeah, those are a few of the things I want to tackle. And um, I think there's like maybe like three or four. But the, the thing is, <laughs> because I feel like some of you might be like, okay, but like, just do it. Like, why is it, why is it a big deal? Like, just, you know, just make those appointments. Um, I pretty much, I'm sure I have like phone anxiety, like for me calling, uh, especially people that I don't know is like a 
like a huge deal. It makes me so anxious. I absolutely hate it. And then also like going to doctors is just not my favorite activity, especially going to the dentist because I have like kind of problematic teeth and that, um, I don't even know how to explain this in English. Actually, never mind. I probably can't, but some of my teeth, I can brush my teeth as well as I want and there's still going to be some stuff. Um, and you know, that it's just not fun to have them uh, kind of drill into your teeth and stuff. So it just, it's a, a huge like anxiety loaded thing. So it just takes a lot of courage, um, but it's something I really want to tackle this year because I also feel like it might make me feel a bit more at home here or like, you know, comfortable just knowing that all of that is taken care of and that everything's okay, etc. cetera. And um, maybe that's like a good New Year's resolu resolution for some of you as well, because I feel like, I feel like I might not be the only one who struggles with that a little bit every once in a while. So um, yeah, just maybe it's, maybe it's time to go to that one doctor that you need to go to. I know that like health uh, insurance wise, it's not as easy for a lot of people, but um, yeah, let's uh, manifest that we can all do that this year. <laughs> so yeah, um, hello Flurry. Oh my gosh, she's just working out in the middle of nowhere surrounded by butterflies. Love to see it. And this island is always, when you've got a flat island on your hands, it's just, it feels so ginormous. I, okay. Um, oh, here's our money tree. Let's actually do this um, because I, you know, I'll grab that money still. Like I don't think I will uh, worry too much about Okay, wait, uh, put away, perfect. And then let's get 10,000. I will not worry too much about um, a lot of like, I don't know, repeatedly diving to get money, etc. Although I kind of want to see if maybe we can fill up our museum on this island at some point. Um, but yeah, so I don't want to like necessarily focus on it all the time. And I'll just kind of like, grab bells from Treasure Island, etc. But um, the money tree is like easy to get. So that's really fine. Right. So I think I'm going to aim at around 20 flowers per type um, and just get the get rid of the rest of them for now, just because there's there's only so much space on the beach, really. So let me see. We got um, two, four, six, no, two, four, six, eight. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's fill these two up. That's 10. Uh, God, I don't like when they're just the buds because it always is so hard to see, but that's okay. So we got 10, um, 11. There we go. And I got three more in my pockets. So let's fill these spots up and then gather the rest of the lilies from the beach. And I think the rest of them we can just get rid of. So yeah, job and doctor's appointments. And then one more thing, it's kind of hard for me to put this into words. Right, okay, before I do that, hold on. Two, four, six, how am I counting this? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, I think that is. 16, eh, can I grab this from here? No, I can't, of course not. Okay, so 16, do I have any more in my pockets? I do not, 16, uh, 17, we got, 18. There were a few. Oh no, I think I grabbed the one by my house too. Uh, 19? And then 20? Is that correct? Okay, I feel like that might be correct. Let's see. Um, so one goes here. You know, the thing is I love, I love cleaning up. I love organizing all of my flowers, etc. when I just play for myself, like when I play on the sofa, but I always get like, um, I always have like a bad conscience when, is that the word? I, I don't know. Let's just pretend it is. Um, <laughs> when I do it in the let's play, because I feel like it's just not interesting enough. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Yeah. Okay. So that was correct. So any other Lily that I, I encounter, um, I have to get rid of. And I know that there, I had a lot of white cosmos too. Um, many more than I needed. Okay. So the third new year's resolution, and I think that's the last one too, is I want to figure out who I am. Um, that's really, that's a really weird thing to say and a very big thing to say, which is why I said, I don't really know how to put this into words because I've just, I think like it was brought on also because of this move and because not really having a lot of friends, not really having um, a lot of people in general here to talk to. 
except for like, you know, amazing people like online, um, like amazing friends that I can only talk to online because they live very far away from me. But um, just, I, I went through like this crisis last year. <laughs> it's so weird to say last year because it literally was like maybe two months ago or something. Um, of like clothing styles. So I have always struggled with clothing because I feel like I have not like the easiest or mo most common um, body type for um, for a female. And that just basically means, first of all, all body bodies are beautiful, of course, of course, but we all kind of, I don't know, a lot of people have their struggles and just saying that sometimes it just isn't enough and you kind of have to figure out what things that work for you and make you feel confident. And um, basically, I, I have very broad shoulders and pretty um, narrow hips, like the, the um, just like my shoulders are wider than my hips. I think that pretty much explains it, which in the general eye of the of society and the world, that's not really how a woman is supposed to look like. So I struggle with finding clothing that I like on myself that really fits me well. Um, and that was something, I don't know why it, it happened so suddenly, but it was like I was really going through the str a struggle just after I had gone through a struggle with my hair. It's so weird. Um, but I, you know, if you've seen like, um, my God, I have so many Cosmos. Um, if you've seen like older videos of, of me, you know that my hair used to be uh, a lot straighter than it currently is. And um, I went through this entire struggle of like not liking my hair. And then I had gotten a few comments um, and just read up about, a bit about like uh, the curly hair method. And at some point I was like, okay, let's try it. And now I'm at a point where I'm quite happy with the structure of my hair. I think like I'm, I'm quite enjoying the slight like curls or waves or whatever. And um, so after I figured that out, I guess it was time for my clothing because I was suddenly like questioning everything. I was like, I don't like this. I don't like the way that I dress, but I don't know how to dress. And, um, and then I kind of really started liking the idea of like flannel shirts, which as you can see now I'm wearing. So I guess that's what I feel comfortable in now. Um, flannel shirts and mom jeans. I figured out something to wear in the fall season and winter season. I don't really know what's going to happen once we get into spring and summer, but we'll see and we'll tackle that as we go. But I think after I figured out that was like, um, surface things like the you know considering uh, or like concerning the way that i look and the way that i present myself to the world um this is getting very like philosophical but basically after that i guess it was time for me to really question my character in a way like not like the thing is just i've been going through like some tough times mental health wise and like all of that of course is a big thing but i guess more importantly as in the new year's resolutions I want to figure out who I am in terms of like, what do I like? Like, what type of hobbies do I ha want to have? Like, what type of person do I want to be in the everyday life? Like, what? How, how do I want to fill my days, you know? Okay, hold on. I need to count. Two, four, six, seven. These blend in with each other quite well. Okay, so this is eight. Um, yeah, so, so that... <laughs> It's a very big, it's a very big topic and a very like philosophical thing, I guess. But um, that's one of the things I want to figure out because like I have, you know, kind of like, do I want to go like work out maybe? Like, do I want to, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, two, four, six, I think here, eight, 10, 12, 13, okay. 14 let me just count it right now because otherwise i'll mess it up 14 so we got 15 uh 16 and 17 okay and then this will be 18 19 and the 20th on this like open tile i think that is 20 so I can get the rest of the cosmos and, oh, hold on, I'll take my garbage can with me um, and just throw them out. Yeah, so because like, 
<sighs> I don't know. I see a lot of people, you know, be really into like drawing or I don't know, macrame, crocheting, all that kind of stuff. And I'm always like, I don't know if I have hobbies. I mean, I guess this is a big hobby of mine, but I I definitely need something. Isn't there like a saying that you always need something to kind of nourish different aspects of your life? And one of them is your body. I don't have that. I don't move my body a lot. Like I just, I spend a lot of time inside. I spend a lot of time sitting down or lying down and I can tell that it's not good for myself. Like I just be, I'd like to be, um, and I don't want to say like my resolution is to work out because I'm just not, I'm not sure it's going to work. And it's always tied to this like diet culture, which I'm not a fan of because it always comes with these very toxic kind of, you know, thoughts and what whatnot. Um, but I just want to, I want to feel better in my own skin and I want to feel more comfortable with my, with my life and with my routines. And I think that, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to just, you know, say stuff and then have you be upset because it's not the case. So it's not, this is not going to apply for everyone, but I do think that some people might relate to this. Oh my God, I need new shovels. I keep breaking my shovels. Uh, do I have my storage shed with me too? I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. I think I still had a few of them, but I'm gonna have to pick up some new shovels. I know that I didn't want to get the golden shovels because of the achievement, but like the golden tools in general, I might make an exception for the golden shovel though, because I, I just, there's, I need so many shovels. <laughs> All right, so here's what I was gonna say. Um, I think a lot of people can relate to this in a sense that um, the last few years because of COVID, I think just kind of, they just kind of happened. But looking back, I feel like I can't even tell you what I really did. I can't really tell you what the big moments were. Like, I don't know if people wanted me to explain what I did and what I achieved the last few years. I'm not really sure I could tell them much. I mean, I did move. Um, I moved out of my parents' place. Like I moved into, um, like for the first time I moved into like an apartment that I pay rent for that I, did, I shared with someone else, but um, kind of like my own apartment, basically. I don't own it, I pay rent anyway, regardless. <laughs> um, and I also, I guess, started like content creation. I started that in 2020. Um, at the end of it. I think September of 2020 is when I started this YouTube channel. And then in January of 2021, I started um, streaming on Twitch. And like, yeah, that's a lot of what I did. And it's a lot of like big moments and big achievements, but still it kind of like every day, it just almost feels like you just function in a way. Like you just, you just do stuff, you know, you get up, you do your work and then, oh, you find eggs. <laughs> And then it's just kind of like, okay, the day is over. Um, and then the next day is like rinse and repeat, you know, and it doesn't, I don't know. I would just get, I guess I just want to fill my days with, with something a bit more nourishing. I think nourishing, like especially the, you know, body, mind, and soul. Isn't that it? Body, mind, and soul. Do something for your for your mind in terms of like, keep, keep learning things, keep uh, educating yourself and stuff like that. And then keep, do something for your soul that truly makes you happy. Um, which that's something I, I don't know what makes me happy. We have a calendar, um, like a weekly calendar. And for this week, the motto is like, do stuff that makes you happy. I don't know what that is. I, you know, Animal Crossing makes me happy, but because of like, um, a few a few things that happen and a few content creation aspects, there's also a bit of anxiety about it every once in a while. And so I don't really know what makes me happy, you know? I hear a balloon. It is an egg balloon, never mind. We might have to skip a year. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't, I'm not, I can't, I can't continue living like this, you know? Um, yeah, and then body is like, obviously you wanna, you wanna nurture your body. You just wanted to, uh, um, I don't know, you just want to do something that'll that'll make you feel good, just like health-wise and, and body-wise. Okay, by the way, are these done? Yeah, these are done. Good. Um so that that's something I want to figure out. I think it'll be it might not be a resolution I can like fully achieve, 
because I think figuring out who you are and who you want to be, what your hobbies are, um, and all of that is like a lifelong process. Probably it's not going to just be like, oh yeah, I did that and we're done now. It's going to be a lifelong process, but I really want to put a lot of thought into it this year because I feel like I just haven't really put a lot of thought in it. Um, especially the last few months, I think I've been living for other people. It almost feels like I, a lot of times I will put my own plans on hold and I will, I will, I only have 10 of each of these. That's kind of not enough. I should probably get more than 10 of each of the flowers. Is it the same for pink and blue? Because that might not be enough. Um, but yeah, I've just been putting myself, like my own life on hold whenever other people tell me like, oh, you know, um, I don't know. I just, I would always try to, to, to make it right for everyone else around me, I think. Um, and I don't really pay enough attention to my own uh, goals and, and joys and whatnot. So I guess that'll be something I really want to focus on more, which is a tough thing. I don't even, I don't even know where to start, <laughs> but that'll be my new year resolution. I also feel like I might want to make a return to streaming, but it's not something I want to say is like a 100% resolution. Also because I don't want to promise things that might not happen because so um, we'll talk about this some other time, I think, when we do like some major landscaping, maybe, um, because that'll give me a bit of of room to talk about it. Like for now, we, uh, we're just moving a few flowers, so I think we'll be done in a bit. <sighs> this is kind of upsetting to me. Where do I put the white flowers now? Okay, maybe we, we do keep just 10 of each or something. Let's move these a little bit closer together. Um, but yeah, so I basically, I, I stopped streaming because it was keeping me in this confined, like, everyday routine of like, okay, today I can't do this because I'm, st I'm streaming and I'm streaming and I, I couldn't, I knew that the situation mental health wise because of like wanting to get a job, etc. wasn't good for me, but because I was like busy all the time, I wasn't really doing things to change it. And so I think the main reason for me to stop streaming, um, like I said, more in detail some other time, but was, was kind of to get myself out of this cycle and just completely take myself away from the situation be like, okay, I can't use that excuse now. I can't be like, oh, I don't have time to like take care of this or that. No, because I'm not streaming. I'm not like doing this, this like everyday stuff uh, anymore. And um, I just, I need to, I need to actively change stuff now. And I can't, I can't hide behind the streams. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, so cute. So that was like the main reason. So I feel like if I get a job, if I succeed in that resolution, then I think a few others might fall into place too. Okay, uh, flowers are moved, stuff is cleaned up. That makes me feel quite happy, so that's good. We've got a lot of holes, but I think we'll go and maybe just jump a year or something and see if maybe 2024 is better for um, like wanting to to live our life in peace without like all the bunny day stuff kind of getting in the way. Um, and also something I actually want to say um, or like briefly, briefly mention, I think this is going to be kind of confusing when I say it, but I've been... Okay, wait, uh, I want to get this butterfly and then I need to break this rock because I wanted to make like a rock garden, I think, on this island. Um, but so I am I was thinking about how I'm going to manage. Wait, I've got my storage here with me. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about how I'm going to um, I'm going to work. This is Animal Crossing related now and might seem really weird, but I was thinking about how to um, how to figure out the, the weeds situation because uh, in flattening this island, I plucked all the weeds, which I'm very confused about. I don't know why I did that because I usually don't do that anymore because I like to use the tall grown weeds for decorating. So we have barely any like full grown weeds on this island and um, the entire island is flat and there is a weed limit, which I currently don't know what that what that number is. But like, once your entire weed count on your island gets to a certain number, they completely stop growing in a sense that none of them will grow taller and there will not be any like additional ones. And the only ones you can get are these small ones here, which we've got three different ones. We've got the clovers, these like tall clumps, and then these like lighter green ones. 
um, during spring at least. And I wanna have tall grown weeds. However, if I go around the entire island now and I plant a few weeds, like all over the island and I let those grow tall, I'm still gonna have to remove a bunch of them because right now obviously the island is flat. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say here? Um, so I don't know how to do this. So either we have to like, I don't know, either we have to do the entire landscaping and figure out the entire island kind of uh, flow before we kind of put around a bunch of weeds, let those grow and then kind of start the decorating, which I'm way too impatient for. I will pluck these here though, because I don't want them this close to the edge, I think. Um, or we have to like, as we decorate, always just plant like very few of them and let them grow tall and then just kind of keep open tiles until we're at the very end. And then we like fill the rest of them with like small weeds. I honestly have no idea how to do that. I, <sighs> yeah, because usually what happens is I'll start decorating and like by the entrance, we'll still have tall grown weeds because we are not at the limit just yet. But then um, very quickly after, because I tend to use a lot of weeds for decorating, very quickly after, we'll just have small ones. Okay, same thing here. I don't think we're gonna need, um, we're gonna need them this far to the back of the island. And I think there were, there was like a big, we can keep this one for now. Um, there was like a big patch of weeds over to the left by the trees. We can keep this. This is a pretty big patch of them, but that could work out. We do want to bring up the cliff here a bit more. And then I think we wanted to continue the path. Um, oh my God, this was before the holidays. It's already been a few days, but I think my plan was basically that you run here and then you can just kind of go to the campsite, but then also go back because this will kind of be water and cliffs. And then the pathway will kind of continue from here. So maybe we'll keep that. Maybe we'll build like a sunken area around it. Why did I say it so aggressively? I don't know. Um, but maybe we'll do like a sunken area around this. Don't know if that will work out with cliffs and, and uh, inclines, etc. But yeah, so we've got a few patches of them here already. That's actually a lot of already. I'm worried. I'm worried about this situation. I, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, however, um, if I time travel a year, I'll grab these because this will be pathing for sure. I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be able to keep those. Um, if we time travel a year, I think it would just only make sense if we plant like a few weeds here by the entrance and then hopefully these will grow a little bit taller. <laughs> okay, so let me plant a few of them here. I know that they grow a little bit better if there is a few in the area. So we'll just kind of do it like this. I hope this is not too many already. Uh, there's like no clovers here that's interesting and then maybe towards the water kind of like here right great maybe one more there or maybe like over here uh, and then we'll just kind of figure out which ones we like pretty much okay now i'm getting all the clovers right okay so maybe kind of like this and then we'll we'll skip a year <laughs> we'll skip an entire year um, we'll get, eh, we'll, eh. we'll get this butterfly. There we go. And then we're going to go and, uh, hopefully have those be tall and, and pretty, you know, tall and pretty. Will we continue all of this, this like tree group thing? I'm doubting it. I'm honestly doubting it. So <clears throat> maybe we'll get rid of the trees. I will say though, I'm sorry this is such a cleanup uh, episode, but you know what? Um, there's there's a word in, it's probably not the time for it yet, but there's a word in German that's like Frühjahrsputz, which is kind of like the fact that when it gets kind of like, when the new year has started and we're ne like, we're it's, it's making its way towards spring, we all have this urge to like clean our homes, right? And we're just kind of trying to make everything fresh and clean for the for the new uh, the new season, the new round of seasons. So I'm guessing that this is kind of what that is. Um, 
basically i will keep the pear trees because i think the pear trees are going to be good for oh wait um the pear trees are oh my god the pear trees are gonna be good for um for like using for the green trees basically since we Play during cherry blossom season, every hardwood tree that we plant is going to be pink. Um, but I want to have a mixture of pink and green trees. And the way to achieve green trees during this time is to use fruit trees. And then for the DA, we're just going to go ahead and shake it. Actually, let's destroy this rock now that we're on it. Now that we still had this um, one more energy. And I think we're going to use pear trees because then when we run across the island as we built it and the, sh the fruit trees are not shaken yet. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go for like another year. Sorry, Annabelle. Um, that way, when we build the island and we run across the island, even without having shaken the trees, they're still kind of completely green. So I think that those will make the most sense. Um, we don't have... Why don't we have peach tree? Oh, is pe our peaches are our native fruit? Hold on. I think they might be since this was, yeah, this was supposed to be, um, this was supposed to be kind of for making money, but I'll just kind of get rid of it for now because I want to make some room. Um, yeah, so we're going to use pear trees for that. Speaking of, I think I plan to do a tree storage, which we haven't done. Ew. <gasps> Dang it. Wait, I think I needed that spider. Oh. Oh, we've caught quite a bit already. But yeah, we did not have that spider. Ah, uh, missed opportunity. Okay, well, we're gonna get it another time. I need to be like, I need to be more alert and then be able to like stop. Okay, hold on. There's a double balloon and we're gonna get the green one. The green one might be furniture. They don't necessarily have to be for anyone. Ooh, anybody here who got Animal Crossing for Christmas, maybe? Um, but yeah, anyone who... Oh. Oh, interesting. Um, anyone who doesn't know, the balloons don't... Like, it doesn't have to be according to the color, but if... Um, if the balloon is like a green one, it's more likely to be a furniture piece, I think. And if it's like a yellow one, it's more likely to be, um, bells, etc. But it doesn't have to be. It can always be a little bit different. I guess this one, the drink is kind of considered a furniture piece. Wait, because you can get it in, um, Nook's Cranny. Is that the backworm? Yeah, okay, we do have that one. Okay, so we don't care about that one. <laughs> Right, so before we chop these down, or I guess we can also just move these probably and start a tree storage. But I guess before we do that, we're going to shake them because there are going to be some wasps and some furniture pieces. Um, yeah. God. Everything broke this, this, this stream, I was going to say, this video. We broke and I don't have my storage out of here. Where did I put it? Oh, there we go. Everything broke. My shovel broke twice? Did my shovel break twice? My ax broke? My net? Do I have a net? I do have a net. Okay, that's good at least. Um, I need to move the trees to the back. I think to the... Hmm. I think I'm gonna maybe put them in the middle because I feel like my... I wanted to do this like lookout spot, right? I wanted to have this like big uh, lookout spot. Wait, I need to figure out if I've got that one. And I do. A citrus long, longhorn beetle, that is. Pretty sure I've got that one. That's the same one on these two. Shoo, shoo. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, no, the trees. Yeah, because I want to put this like lookout spot and I think that was planned for the back left of the island, which I might want to do at some point before we actually get there. So I'm going to put the trees like towards more towards the middle so they don't they're not as much in in the way. Although I have been working without tree storages for the past um I don't know, few weeks. Like on um on Cal not on Calen, on Meliora, I've been like just planting trees and then waiting uh and time traveling for them to grow, which we can also do. I think that would be totally fine. Okay, what are we getting? A cypress plant. 
I feel like they didn't program it. I don't know, can you find 2.0 items from trees? Because I feel like they didn't program it that way. <laughs> like I just keep finding 1.0 items from, uh, from trees. And yeah, it's kind of upsetting. All right, let's put something in my storage and let's clear out my pockets first. I don't need that many weeds. I don't need, um... oh, actually I can get rid of the garbage can for now too. And all of this, okay. And then maybe let me find, let me get some more um, like food items so I can get the, I can grab the trees. Do I have anything bigger? I guess I can probably drink this stuff here and then grab more cotton candy. Oh yeah, I should start a list of things I need to get. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do some shopping uh, sometime from Treasure Islands. Okay, so I wrote down golden shovels and uh, food for now. Um, there, I might wanna get a few more tools as well, but it's fine. Okay, so can I eat this? Yes, that should be five energy, I think. And then if I can get the drink too, I, it should be three more, which is oh, very realistic. Um, so yeah, there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab all of these and we're gonna start. It's, I don't know, I don't know if like, um, if the, the tree storage makes a lot of sense though, because I think for this island, Oh, oh, this was already enough. I didn't even need all the all the uh, cotton candy and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if for this island it um, makes a lot of sense because my plan was uh, to use all types of trees like cedar, hardwood, bamboo. And then in addition to that, I want to also make like distinguish between hardwood trees and like pink trees and uh, green trees. And then of each of the ones, I will want three different sizes. I want the medium and the large and the full grown one. So uh, four types of trees with three sizes each. That That's gonna take so much space on the island. I don't know if, I don't know if that's a good idea or if instead we just kind of stock up on uh, saplings and then we just kind of plant them and time travel. That might, that might be smarter, but I am gonna keep these fully grown ones because you know, Let's not waste the ones that we can actually use. Okay, I think I'm gonna feel a lot better once this uh, once this is all clean. I don't know what to do about our produce, like the tomatoes, etc. Mm. We might also kind of get rid of them though, or move them to the beach. I know that those can also be on the beach, so we might just move them over after growing them to maybe like have three on each of them. Um, but I also kind of doubt that with our color scheme, we're gonna do like a tomato farm because if we have everything in like very light colors and very romantic and like, you know, blue and white and pink, and then we like just do this like red tomato farm, I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think we're gonna do that. So we'll see. I should have shaken the pear trees. I don't know how many pears I even have. Uh, We, we can still do that once we once we uh, put them down though. Okay, so that should be everything collected. Um, yeah, so maybe we just keep like the potatoes, sugar cane, and maybe the wheat as well. And we should do pumpkins. We should definitely plant a lot of pumpkins because I want to have like a white pumpkin farm. Let me let me see if I have um, if I have like pumpkins. I don't. Do I have pumpkin stars? I've got a lot of shrubs. I have quite a few saplings actually. Okay, I have quite a few saplings, a few bamboo shoots, not that many, um, but I don't seem to have any pumpkins. Okay, so that's something I should, oh, that's also something I should get. Okay, let's put this shovel to use while it's it still has a bit of use left in it. And then this will be like almost, I don't know, almost an hour of just cleaning, which, oh, Ooh, do I have that one? Which just shows how much you, you know, how many different things are a part of this game. <gasps> I don't have that one. Okay, 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 okay. Let's be, let's be careful, yes? Nope. Okay, okay. Eh, there we go. Rainbow something probably, right? 
Oh, no, wait, I do have it. A jewel beetle. Okay, I don't know how much money that sells for. I may just keep it though. Oh, it's down here. Okay, never mind. Sorry, didn't see that. <laughs> Did not see that. I think I'm playing during the wrong time for me to discover much, uh, like many new things. I'm pretty sure that most of what I still need is either nighttime uh, or different seasons because I didn't play this island during fall and I didn't play it, did I? When did I start this? No, I started it in summer. I think it's been like half a year since we started this island, which was in July. Um, so I started it in summer, but I don't think I played through fall and I definitely did not play through winter. Okay, I'm probably gonna pluck a few, I don't know, maybe these like tall ones towards the side. Maybe one here. Oh, I just made it worse. No, maybe I didn't, okay. And then I think I'm gonna plug a few here because that's way too many. That is way too many like fully grown ones next to each other. I don't like that. <gasps> no, that was not a, dang it. <laughs> okay, and then let me also grab the smaller ones because they just add to the overall count of weeds that we've got, but they don't actually, I can just replant them if I want. I'm gonna get rid of these two. And then we're gonna leave it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna hope for the best right where is the center of the island probably here so let's kind of just start uh nope let's kind of just start like the tree like storing the few trees that we've got in in this spot right here i don't even know how many i've got so we got hardwood tree two or seven why do oh is it because five wasps and two items Okay, seven is kind of an upsetting number though. Just kind of like, I was thinking about this, 2023 doesn't really sound all too pleasant, but then, you know, I was, when 2020 came around, I was like, oh, this sounds like such a nice year. And then look where that got us. So maybe it's a good omen. <laughs> maybe the uneven ones are the better ones, who knows? I remember 2019 was actually a pretty good year for me. I was on my semester abroad from like university in Dublin. I like my university isn't in Dublin, but my semester abroad was, and I had a very good time there. So maybe 2023 is the real thing. Maybe, maybe this is what we, this is what we need. This is so weird looking. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll just get rid of a few more. Okay. Uh, that should be it. I don't want to get, I don't want to get all of these holes in the ground because I'm pretty sure they're not fossils, but instead they're, um, they're, um, eggs. And I, yeah, like I said, I'm not about that life. <laughs> okay. 5,000 bells. Let's go. That was a yellow balloon. So that, yeah, I guess the theory kind of does work out a little bit here and there. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll keep this here. I think the episode and the cleaning has been going on for long enough. We'll keep this here for now. It's at the very left of the island, so we don't really have to worry about it too much just yet. And we'll we'll do it some other time. Um, I'll put this stuff away. Oh, I'll quickly um, I'll quickly grab the pears from the trees, though. I will do that because um, we're gonna need all the pears to to bury. And then pears and um, pears and peaches, I think, are gonna be the trees that we probably use on this island. But apart from that, I don't think we're gonna do oranges, uh, oranges, apples cherries they're all like way too vibrant they're they're very much like fall colors and i just i just did the fall island so there's that okay so um i can't see anything but i'll just i'll just run through and just grab whenever there's something to grab okay cool <laughs> right i'll i'll have to i'll have to like tilt the camera wait Okay, everything here, perfect. I'll grab the ones on the side. There's one in between here. And that should be it. Is it a number divided by, yeah, that can be divided by three, perfect. Um, Let me just see if we've got more than this. 
I do think I, well, I have all the shrubs that I need. I've got a, a bunch of saplings and I'm pretty sure I have like different types of, yeah, I have like weeds, I have vines. Um, I do not have that many uh, pears though. Okay, that's good to know. But you know, if we, if we keep planting pears um, or like pear trees, we can always just shake them and then that's gonna be good. Okay, um, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Like I said, let me know about your new year resolutions in the comments below if you want to, if you wanna share it, that is. Um, and that being said, I will uh, continue recording now and I'll, I'll work on the actual decorating of the entrance. I'll probably go time travel a year. Um, although I don't know, wait, what day is it? Sunday. When is, is the bunny day thing on like a specific day? Because maybe towards the end of cherry blossom season when the petals float around, which is what we want, it would be better than this. But yeah, I might time travel a year and continue recording and then we'll um, we'll figure out some, some decorations for the entrance. And I meant to destroy this rock, but that's okay. We're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna do that in the next episode. All right, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little cleaning episode um, and uh, us getting everything ready to continue without any like disruption. And um, if you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episodes. And um, until then, I hope you have an awesome time. Bye everyone.